Thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for sponsoring this video. Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to finally, after nearly three weeks of its launch, I'm finally diving in to the new Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack. This pack seems like it is right up my alley. Death and occults and mystery and I just, I'm so freaking excited. I know originally I said in my Love Struck mini series that I would be using Celeste and Manuel Aguilar as the stars of this next mini series. However, I filmed an episode and I hated it and I changed my mind and I decided that Celeste and Manuel, this pack isn't very fitting for them and their story, I don't feel like. However, I can name probably 20 Sims of mine in which this pack is perfect for them. And one of them would be my Sim self, Nikki. Nikki right here, my Sim self, is a single mother and a vampire who has been dying for a little bit of excitement in her life lately. So we are going to head on a vacation with her to Ravenwood and go on an adventure exploring the new world, try to uncover its new mysterious lore, and perhaps meet some people in the process. It has been a long time for Miss Girl right here. She is a little bit lonely, so maybe we might run into some nice suitors while we're out there. Without further ado, let's catch our flight to Ravenwood. And you know what that means, you little shit? I'm leaving you behind. Yep, I'm leaving you behind here with your grandmother and your aunt. You have fun. You have fun being a little demon and terrorizing all of their lives without me. Ah, this is gonna be great for her. And here we are at our Ravenwood vacation home. This home is so stunning. Just like this world, I did come and look at Morning Vale a little bit. I had to because it just blew my mind when I saw the pack trailer. This is so up my alley. And it is super cute. Comes with a bunch of different bedrooms. It's obviously way too big for her to have all by herself. But you know, we might be breaking one or two of them beds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the weird thing about this house is that it comes with its own crypt of eternity. Oh my God. We can explore the underground crypt. We can nap. We can join the Undertaker career. Oh no, we're not going to be doing all that today. But this is so cute. I think this whole world is honestly so cute. Oh my God. It's the ghost train. I heard about this. What? That is so cool. And it goes to nowhere. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course it does. I think we're just going to explore a bit and see what this world has to offer. Ooh, actually, let me show you guys her outfits and casts. Now, the cast items from this pack have been up for debate online, and I've been seeing some things that I'm taking personally because this style for this pack, for the clothing, is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's one of my favorite styles. <laughs> I'm in love with the cast from this pack. I genuinely love every bit of clothing, every every shoe, all of it, all of it so, so much. And I'm so happy that this is part of the game now and you don't need CC in order to get it. However, the one thing about this pack that I do not like is the hairs. I abhor the hairs. I will not be using, I don't think any of the hairs in her outfits. This one, this this short one, I do actually kind of like, but it's not something I would use on my sim self. The rest of them though, you can keep it. You got it. The makeup is a bit lackluster, I will admit, though I do think the eyeliner is cool. It kind of looks like your sim cried it off, probably because they're going to be crying and screaming and running from the ghosts they see in this world. And the accessories are okay. But as for the clothes and the shoes, I love it. And I do not care what any of you guys say, okay? But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that this trip may kind of be lonely if it's just my sim self by herself. I'm thinking we should make this a girl's trip. And who better to bring along than my best friend sim self? Meet the sim self of my real life best friend. Her name is Lucy Pine. I've had her in my game for a while, kind of as like an extra sim for like dumb TikToks I make or as a background character. Real life Lucy, if you are watching this, I'm going to try my best to uh, not get her killed, but I can make no promises, especially because I gave this sitch the chase by death trait. <laughs> I'm setting my best friend up so bad. Chase by death sims know that death follows their every move. While risky and dangerous behaviors may have deadly consequences, frequent near-death experiences give these sims a desire to live each day to the fullest and progress along their soul's journey. Keenly aware of their own mortality, these sims feel best when they are achieving something meaningful with their limited time left. Wow, that is so dark and depressing. You better live that life to the fullest, Sitch, because I cannot, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. I'm gonna try to not have her die, but it would be kind of funny. I'll bring her back. Don't worry, I'll bring you back, Lucy. It's okay. Now, I think since both my sim self and Lucy are here, they are ready to f*** 
up. I'm thinking we go over to the nightclub in this neighborhood. So let's go and do that. This is Club Eternity, a nightclub in the neighborhood of Morningvale, the neighborhood that we are staying in. And since we're here, I might as well go over with you what neighborhoods are in this world and what they have to offer. There's something otherworldly about Morningvale. Maybe it's the way the wind howls through the moss draped trees, the eerie clang from the bell tower at odd hours, or the sentient plants. No matter the reason, many ghosts choose to call this place home. The Grim Reaper has even been known to wander through now and then. Sims can find the baleful bog here, investigate the tarot tome shrine by the bell tower, or listen to the whispers of the guardian tree and Alice. Who on earth is Alice? What the hell is a baleful bog? And what is the tarot tome shrine? Interesting. Morning Vale hosts a variety of festivals, Afterlife Anonymous, and Thinned Festival. Be sure to check out the town hall for more information. And then over here we have the neighborhood of Whispering Glen. Nestled into the rolling hills of Ravenwood's countryside, Whispering Glen offers a quiet rural locale for those hoping to take a step away from all of the local hauntings and into a slow-paced lifestyle. Steeped into the ruins and rumors, it's paradise for collectors and historians alike. Explore the local crypt, investigate the tarot tome shrine at the base of the ruins, garden in its shared community plots, or just round out a collection. Whispering Glen also hosts a nightly festival besides the Ancestor Face Cliff, the Moon Revelry, clothing optional during the full moon. What? Is this a woohoo party? Uh, are we getting freaky in front of the ancestor? Who is the ancestor? I'm guessing it's this face in the clouds. I'm going to be so honest. I did not watch the live stream. I kind of forgot. And I was supposed to rewatch it at some point in time. And I just never did. So I really don't know what to expect in this pack. I don't know what these neighborhoods look like. I know nothing. I don't know anything. Okay. So I'm exploring it while you guys are as well. Crow's Crossing is the third neighborhood. Crow's Crossing is a village founded by Moppy the Goat, okay? And rumored to be frequented by ghosts in regular hauntings. Visit the mysterious merchant in the old Spectre graveyard, investigate the Tarot Tome Shrine on the edge of town, explore an abandoned house, or grant a wish at the Well of Longing and Regret. Just watch out for Edith. Who is Edith and Alice? Crow's Crossing hosts a variety of festivals, Try Before You Die, Casket Sale, Crow's Crossing Celebration of Life, and Ravenwood Family Day. Be sure to check out the town hall for more information. Wow, there's a lot to do, it sounds like. That festival does sound interesting. There, It says it's a nightly festival. I don't know if it's still going on, but I mean, maybe we can go find out. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go see if we can find this festival. Let's go to the final drought bar. Okay, here we are at the final drought bar. Roar, it's bear night. Sim's willing to get a little beastly. Tonight can enjoy discounted drinks. Oh, I have the perfect solution for that. I have the perfect solution for that. Hold on, hold on. If you've ever wondered who played the bear in that one TikTok I made that went viral talking about life after choosing the bear instead of the man, it was Lucy. The more you know, I guess. Okay, let's see what is around here. The first thing that caught my eye was this statue right here. Is that a daddy grim? <laughs> Hello, sir. View gemologist statue. Okay, let's do that. And yes, I'm going to keep her in this bear costume. Not even gonna think twice about it. Just two dumb sitches admiring a statue together. Okay, we got a pop-up. Long ago, during a new moon, a meteorite stuck Whispering Glen, filling the sky with a breathtaking display of light and sound. Though no sims were harmed, the event was witnessed from far. Centuries later, a gemologist discovered a glowing rock within the crater. Fascinated, he built an imposing castle around it, scaling his discovery within. Legend has it that the gemologist's find was no ordinary rock. Some say it was cursed or used to create remarkable artifacts, like the ancestor or Moppy's glowing eyes. To this day, the castle stands shrouded in mystery, its secrets kept hidden from the curious eyes of locals. Oh, so we have some serious lore coming with this pack. Okay, I'm excited. It said it might have resulted in the ancestor or Moppy's eyes. I don't know what Moppy's eyes are, but the ancestor ancestor oh there it is ew <laughs> <laughs> just some random man in the mountains and it looks like look this must be the nightly little festival okay food options are not looking the best oh my god we got sliders mac and cheese hot dogs chili and chips and dip and then what's going on over here what what's happening over here wow this looks like a really fun festival uh mm, i think we're gonna be skipping it i'm sorry ea but this is just lackluster i mean what what? Why is this random setup? <laughs> nice to know that the option's there, I guess. I'm trying to see if there's anything else, like any other statues. <gasps> 
What is this? This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It doesn't tell us what it is. It just says, what is this? So I guess they can come and look at what this is. This is honestly so gorgeous, but I feel like this is something that looks like it would come with Realm of Magic. It looks like something for spellcasters. Let's have her read it. Ooh, okay. The Order of Lenore. Okay, this is what they were talking about with like the tarot cards, huh? Formed long ago, the society remains bound under the sacred mission to reunite what was once whole. Lady Raven Dancer Goth's tarot deck. What a name, Raven Dancer. Oh my, her parents must have hated her. Lost to the winds and scattered by crows, these fragments lay hidden among Amongst the realm. Guided by ancient whispers, members have sought to protect these cards before their final convergence can be made. Acting as a vessel for favors, perform society member tasks to receive a piece of the puzzle. Go to Ravenwood Festivals and find the helpers for Order of Lenore to learn about the tasks. And this is just the beginning. Across Ravenwood, one may use their intuition and exploration to complete the Order's efforts and locate the lost tarot cards. For hints to each card's location, view the household collections window by selecting the icon in the inventory panel. What? So it's like a little quiet. It's like a little side quest. Okay. It says to go to festivals. There is the one happening right now. <laughs> the really lackluster one happening right now next to the ancestor. Maybe one of the members is there. So the members are Ikade Aether, Widowed Father, Esther Gomez, who is a ghost host, Zelmyra Gomez, who is death obsessed, and oh, <laughs> Nyon Spectre. Okay. Let me tell you something. I aged this man up the second I got this pack. I aged this man up and I gave him a makeover because I know, I just know it in my my heart. He is about to be my Simsel's next baby daddy. Okay. I don't want to hear nothing in the comments being like, well, ew, isn't he a teenager? No, he's not in my safe. Okay. So I will thirst over him as much as I want and you will deal with it. Oh, <laughs> we will be finding Nyana, right? Don't you worry, Order of Lenore. Don't you worry. And then we got another pop up, the High Spellcaster. Seen and unseen, thou art the path between. The High Spellcaster dwells where light and dark share a delicate balance. Those who draw wisdom from this duality may unlock her ethereal presence. As a vessel of divine femininity, her essence and the cycle of the moon are closely intertwined. She personifies magic in all forms and is guided by the rhythmic pulse of her own intuition. Oh, wow. Does this come with life and death or is this pack cross compatibility? That's interesting. I'm excited. The lore is really good. And again, this is something that is just right up my alley. Okay, so this is one of the festivals. Is there anybody from the Order of Lenore here? I do not think so. I recognize every single sim of mine in here. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, I guess we do have one. This is Ekade Aether. Run, Sitch. Run. Oh my god, that man is streaking. Oh my god. Oh my god. One of the members of the Order of Lenore is currently streaking. Oh my god. I just want to talk to him. You're kidding me, right? Put your clothes back on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Instantly unattracted. My god. <laughs> So we need something from this man. I'm not even fully sure what I have to ask him. All I know is that he is a member of the Order of Lenore. Do I have to get to know him better? Do we have to become good friends? Offer to help with favor. Select favors to help with. Okay, you may select up to two favors from the Order's members. The small things, and we have unfinished boozeness. Okay, the small things would give us $50. Looking into the hood of a Reaper can really make you reevaluate what matters most. Maybe you understand, maybe you don't, but you look like the type who can lead the way. Earn your keep in this community by helping me sustain some family joy, and I might be willing to part with my treasure. And then we have unfinished booziness. Love does not cease when death takes hold, but sometimes meaning does. Ghosts get lost, and it can be up to the living to reignite their inner flame. If you see a ghost, show them some kindness. Let me know what you can find. I'm dying to know what makes them stay. I think I'm gonna do that one. That one sounds more interesting to me. So we have to find a ghost and apparently be nice to them. Sounds easy enough. Meet a ghost, ask a ghost about unfulfilled business at Afterlife Anonymous, and report back to the Widowed Father Order member. You couldn't just say E. Kane. You had to say Widowed Father, not the game dragging him. I don't think there's any other interactions for this. So it's time to move on to the next thing, and I think I will use little Lucy over here in her bear costume to do that. And I noticed over here, there is a random grave just sitting here. That is so depressing. There they're all buried by their lonesome. Actually, that's probably pretty peaceful and what I would want after I die. Beloved mother and wife, Anne dedicated her life to the education of children and she inspired so many. She was the one sim everyone agreed on. Beloved mother and wife. Is that Mrs. Aether? Is that E. Kane's wife's grave? <gasps> 
No, no, I'm gonna cry. Stop. I'm not a crier, but that made me sad. That made me so sad. What? Oh my God. Can we ask him about his widowed wife? Is that a thing? Am I giving The Sims 4 too much credit? Am I being too hopeful for The Sims 4? Yes, yes, I am. Let's look at the ancestor. Ew, look at its pop-up in the queue. That's horrifying. And we got this pop-up. The colossal monument towering over Whispering Glen is shrouded in mystery. Scholars believe it's an effigy of a long dead ruler carved into the cliff, but its origins remain unclear. Paranormal enthusiasts claim the full moon tears are linked to the netherworld, while scientists argue they are merely floodwater runoff from the baleful bog. These tears have etched deep grooves into the stone, hinting at ancient rituals. Today, the ancestor attracts nature lovers to its scenic waterfall and continues to inspire those who practice ancient rites during the full moon. Should we come back during the full moon <laughs> and get naked with everybody? All right, I've looked around the rest of the world for a bit. I don't see anything else that is an interactive except for the little crypt right here so maybe we should go to the eternal hollow cemetery at night creepy and see what we can find anything more about the order of lenore and so on who on earth is that oh Oh my god! <laughs> and Miondo! Okay, you guys don't know about the simp, but this is one of Deandra's several enemies who, yes, she did in fact murder. Oh my god, I forgot about her. She's still pissed. Girl, it's been a long time. You need to forget. <laughs> forget and forgive. Look at this cemetery. This comes with the new pack. And this is a, honestly a very gorgeous layout of a cemetery. And there's Sims grieving. This is so depressing, but also just so nice to have that Sims can now finally properly grieve their loved ones. Oh, oh. Over here is a display for ashes. Wow. I'm really impressed with the build mode stuff, guys. It is really gorgeous. Like, look at this. Look at this interior oh my god this is where lucy's future funeral will be because she's probably gonna die at some point oh this is so beautiful all of this is so incredibly beautiful but so very depressing oh <gasps> there's a ghost mysterious merchant now what can we get from waylon forgot what it said earlier it said something about talking to him about artifacts i think mysterious merchandise take a chance on a mysterious item purchase authentic pre-made will haggle ask about mysterious Mysterious items and purchase Juarez. What? What is that? Take a chance on a mysterious item. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna get? A jungle machete. Oh, maybe we should try for another one. We got a moon petal. Oh, that's cute. And now we're buying a Juarez and I have no idea what on earth that is. Wayland's Juarez. Essence of happiness. Essence milk directly from cow plants under the most humane conditions imaginable. Sometimes caretakers get eaten though. Nice. Grim Deluxe Ascendant Crow. Hailing straight from Grim's secret aviary. These immortal corvids are ready to dazzle delight and engage in all manner of deviousness with you. Show your crow affection, plot with them, or send them on recon missions, or help them learn to mick with you. Just avoid provoking them. Doing so risks life and limb. I want him. I can send him on recon. We can engage in deviousness. Oh, yep. I want him. Then we have a pack of bizarre seeds. Collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret dossier. Evidence can be found by questioning the locals or poking around the secret lab. Now, this one's interesting. A soul. I can buy somebody's soul only for 200 simoleons too that's a steal i'll take it and these are the tarot cards okay we have the chariot with the strength of his mind and willpower the chariot needs no reins as with land one must grab onto their goals by taking action though tugged by opposing forces the charioteer steers with sheer resolve be forewarned failing to grasp control of one's life can lead to being lost in a swirl of directionless rhythms and then we have the hermit as an old soul the hermit stands at the peak of of her growth and accomplishments. Guided by the light of life, she steadies herself upon her broom, a symbol of her own authority over time's dusty existence. Though the full path ahead may not be revealed, she strides forth with conviction, out of the darkness and into the light, balancing introspection with caution towards loneliness should no one knock her way. I got all of that for $2,500. So we have three of them. Nice. Oh my God, I'm looking down at my Simself's family's needs. Look at Beverly. They are neglecting her all the way over there. Aw, that's so tragic. 
Anyways, I'm looking to see what else is around here. This is the same little tarot shrine. I don't think it would make any difference if she comes and views it. Order of Lenore. We still had that one ghost. I think her name was Elisa or something like that. We have Nyan, of course. Wow, this town is just so pretty. Oh, here it is. This is the Moppy the Goat statue with the creepy glowing eyes. Let's go take a look at it. Wow, that thing is ugly. The glowing eyes just makes it so weird looking. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Not every village can claim a goat as its founding hero, but the tale of Moppy is just that. Long ago, a group of medieval nomads led astray by the bewitching tarot reader Lady Raven Dancer Goth were on the brink of starvation when they encountered a clever goat. Choosing to follow the goat rather than feast on her, they were guided to a land rich in resources. I'm grateful the nomads settled there, naming the area Ravenwood after Lady Raven Dancer's wood and honoring their savior with a fountain in, in Moppy's name. Despite modern skeptics, the legend endures and few dare to dismiss the ancient ghost's impact on the village. No way. No way. You are not seriously doing this right now. Oh my god. Uh, we quit, by the way. I hope you know that. <gasps> the floating condoms are here. This one is a bow tie and a mustache. <laughs> ask about Alice's sorrows. Lucy needs to ask about Alice's sorrow first. Find Alice in Morningvale near the Guardian Tree. Ravenwood rumors and chat with Freddy. Let's let's let's, let's see what Freddy's about. Freddy is so cute. <laughs> Look at him just sitting <laughs> Hurry up, Lucy. I want to chat with Freddy. Maybe she can chat with Spectre if she stops hitting her vape. This is so ridiculous. Oh my God. Edith, that little girl by the well of longing and regret. I feel like I know her and that I have always known her. More than that, like we were best friends at some point in our soul's journey. No way. Are these like lost souls? Like wandering souls? I just noticed the mood that Nikki got when she visited the cemetery of vampiric boost from being a vampire at a cemetery. Nikki feels strangely invigorated in this place. I want more tea, Freddy. Give me the tea, Freddy. I'm about to info dump on you and I hope that you're ready. Spectre kind, the blue type, exists for one purpose and one purpose only, to lift spirits. Not in a literal necromantic way, but in the emotional way. We might not be the best talkers out there, but we are the best listeners. If you're ever feeling down, come talk to a Spectre, I say. I know I can't remember much about being a Sim, but I do remember one thing clearly. My clown degree and my mission in life, well, and now the afterlife, I suppose. Oh, oh, can I hug it? <laughs> so Edith is near the well of longing and regret. And Alice is in Morning Vale near the guardian tree. Who is that over there? I see red. Is that who I think it is? It's Edith. And she's a child. And this must be the well of longing and regret. Oh my goodness. Courage to face Edith. Oh no. Is she some type of like possessed ghost child? I guess we'll find out. She's dripping water because her home is her home the well or something. She's looking for frogs. This is literally so depressing. <laughs> nope. Mock attempt to communicate. We're going to attempt to communicate. I'm not scared of her. I ain't scared of this little sitch. Edith, I get you. I'm a fellow occult. Come on now. Oh, she likes me. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that worked, I guess. We're friends. Edith appears to be open to further conversation, so maybe a good time to build a friendship with her. Tread lightly, though. Too many negative interactions, and Nikki may have to start her attempts to communicate over again. She likes me. She's smiling. Oh, Edith. Ask for the mark of Edith. What does that mean? I'm so scared. I'm just gonna try to chat with her. I'm just gonna try. Oh, she's very playful and happy. She just wants to play. She just wants a friend. <laughs> Once a million for a wish, a dream, or a nightmare, but gain my trust, ask for my mark, and the best dream you shall have. That sounds like a setup. I don't know about that. That sounds like a setup. I feel like you're trying to snatch my soul or something, girl. You're trying to come back from the dead. What if I pissed her off? What would, what would happen? You know, I can get somebody else to test that theory for me. Hold on. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to be nice to Edith. Oh! <gasps> Oh, what, is, what was that? Oh my gosh, she hates me. You know what? Who can play at that game? You want to dislike me? I'm trying my very best, you miserable.
little sitch. I can wish for a long life, untold riches, skill gains, luck and love, fame, easier to manage needs, courage to face Edith. Oh, look who finally got here after a thousand years. Let's see what happens when Lucy <laughs> is mean to Edith. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, child. I do not care. I do not care how sad your little ghostly life is. I don't care how lonely you are. You are not disrespectful to me. I'm trying to be nice to you. We're gonna mock her. Yep, we're gonna do it. That made her like her. Oh, wow. 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 Edith let out a little giggle and appreciates Lucy's attempt to mock her. She appears to be ready to socialize. <laughs> this could be a good time to attempt friendship and ask for the mark of Edith. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, Edith. Okay. You know what? I was having some cute little thoughts. I was thinking maybe I can adopt her into my family and, you know, her and Beverly could be sisters. It could be a grand old time, but now you, you can stay in your little sad ass well. Oh my God. What is wrong with this ghost child? Oh, she's mean. Let's try mocking her again. Maybe she's a masochist. I don't know. Where are you going? Edith. Edith. My sim self gave up. <laughs> Look how high their friendship is. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> Ask for the mark of Edith. Okay, I put up too much work to not get the mark. Oh, I have the mark of Edith. Lucy made a positive impression on Edith. She better make a wish at the well of longing and regret while this good luck lasts. Oh my God, we're friends with the sad ghost child. Congratulations. What should we wish for? Um, what would my best friend want in real life? She'd want luck and love probably. A long life. A greatly fulfilled wish with the mark of Edith on her side. Lucy tosses a coin in the well. Vitality and youth course through her body giving her a new lease on life. It's like Lucy hasn't aged a day, so it reset her life, basically. Yeah, it did. Wow, okay, Edith, you wanna be a little bit nicer to me now? It's only right. You were nice to my friend. Man, she really hates me. I can't kick children anymore? Why not? Is it because she's a ghost? Well, that was terrible. So I think the only thing left to do is just make this sitch fall to sleep because I'm upset with her and because I can't use extreme violence on her because she's a ghost. Nighty night you go. Oh, in a pool of her own water. I'm sick of her too, girl. I don't blame you. Okay, Mice himself and her best friend Lucy have done a lot today. I feel like we uncovered a lot of lore and we got to see what some of the elements of this pack is going to be like and I'm really excited to keep exploring. So I will be ending this episode now and next episode we will be continuing on with the Order of Lenore, finding all of its members and working on getting the tarot cards. We will be searching for Alice and we'll be seeing if my sim self can maybe get with Nyon <laughs> along with a few other things I have in mind. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any suggestions for the future of this mini series and i will see you guys in the next video bye